Well, to quote High Admiral Thrawn, what's baking, Shakings? <laughs> We're coming back to KOTOR today. Sorry I missed Monday. I was, uh, was pretty upset over stuff that happened on YouTube with the solo trailer and copyright stuff. But we're back today. Um, I went ahead and I fast forwarded ish through this terrible conversation where Bastila just preaches at us again. Uh, I haven't tried talking to Karth. He looks pretty PO'd, so I'm just gonna leave him alone. But right now, I think we're gonna head off. We just finished Kashik. Kashik? Kashik? The K planet? <laughs> I'm great with words today. I'm having a super day. Uh, we just finished Kashyyyk. I think it's time to go to Tant Tatooine. Tatooine? Oh my god, I can't talk today. My whole day's been like this. Like, my day's been a thing. <laughs> just me being completely scatterbrained. So, we're gonna go to Tatooine. And we're gonna pick up our, uh, our last crew member. A.K.A. my favorite crew member. Yep, I'm here. <laughs> I just like to put on my uh, going live soon thing, so half the time I click stream and it takes like a good 30 seconds for it to talk to Twitch. And meanwhile, it's me just like talking to myself before anybody arrives and it's like, oh, well, that's kind of, that's kind of sucky. So, off we go to Tatooine. I've got my fuzzy gloves on because it's freezing here. Is it cold where you guys are? It's been so cold. I have like those death gamer fingers, where since you're always just out on the keyboard, they're freezing cold. <laughs> Please don't have anybody shoot at me, I'm so bad at that. Oh no, I hear combat music. Oh. Oh, maybe not. Are we safe? We might be safe. Oh, we're gonna have another, another Sigourney Weaver in Ghostbusters vision. Do we get to see the vision this time? We do. Oh, it's just the star map. Wah. D and D getting their own Star Wars movie. I didn't hear this. When did this news come out? I'm just gonna... Whoops. Sh really? Tentative optimism? Maybe? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Another vision. The I, force is guiding us, helping us reach At this point, I don't want to get too optimistic about any of the Star Wars movies. Ever closer to the Star After the Tatooine letdown that was The Last Jedi, sand. I'm just. I don't want to get my hopes a star map somewhere in and just have them waste. crushed. I'm dreading the solo movie. Hey, excavator operator, what's going on? I know you haven't been on for a while. Um, let's see. Yeah, maybe Tatooine wasn't always a desert. Am I even? Am I allowed to click here? Here we go. Perhaps, though that would have been tens of thousands of years in the past. Now there's nothing but the howling emptiness of the Dune Sea. Wouldn't the it be star so map would cool likely have to be within to some see kind of shelter to protect what it against dust Tatooine and looks like before it was a wasteland? I think that'd be really cool. And caverns hidden in the sands oh, the thanks, man. I do appreciate that. I really do. So actually, you'll probably notice my headphones are different. The Steel series that I was able to get with your previous donation were too big for me. They kept, like, I tightened them as far as I could and they just kept falling off. It was really, like, I would tilt my head and they'd fall. So I returned them, I swapped them, and I got these guys. And these are awesome, they stay put. They're fantastic. They actually have better sound too than the Steel series, I think. So it worked out, but it was great. I definitely would not have been able to get these good headphones without your help, so I, I super appreciate that. All right, 
let's head off the ship. I believe that last time I spoke to everybody we had on board. So I do not think that I'll need to uh, talk to them now. Who should I take out to Tatooine with me? Hmm. There's so many options. I don't, you know, maybe I should give Bastila a chance. Should I give Bastila a chance though? I don't. I always get so hung up on who I'm gonna take with me. All right, I'm gonna take Z I'm gonna take Zalbar and I'm gonna take Bastila, and we're gonna see we're gonna see how they do. Where's my mouse? I can't find the okay button. Oh, here it is. Cool. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Potential Zerka customer. Corporation stands ready to serve. After some formalities, of course. Oh, First, take mission? your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There um, is a document. Do you guys think Zerka heard about how I list. set the Wookiees free and then slaughtered all of them? That would be young. The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to cover expense. Um... So, you know what I should have done is gotten the Force I Persuade option? Because I'm pretty sure that you could Zirka Corporation. Force this will convince cover them? Now, as yeah... I don't want to talk to you, dude. Well, before I head back on the ship, I'll just quickly level up Bastila here. Good job, Bastila. Good level up. I'm proud of you. I mean, she's fine. I guess. When she's not preaching. Okay, so I'll grab Miss. I'll go back on. I'll grab Mission. Oh yeah, no worries, man. I know people flip back and forth between streams. I know if I was watching me play this game, anytime there was dialogue, I'd probably click off. Like, just because I don't have the patience for dialogue. Why did I select this? I don't need to select this. I have this theory that Candorous is like the HK-47 of people. Okay. Alright, we got Bastila. What we don't got is where the OK button is. Here we go. Okay. Psst. Oh, I'm still playing as Bastila. All right. I don't feel like talking to him. Ooh, is that is that a footlocker? Hey, and John, we trust. What's going on? We are on Tatooine, and I had a brain fart earlier. I called it Tantooine. Do you like the dialogue? It can be good if you get like if you get really into the story part. Oh, that's right. First one still. I'm Bastila, yes. I take it that you know my mother. Oh, I should read this. So she says, I work with your father. Your mom showed me how I was in you before you left. You were such a pretty little girl. Is there something I can do for you, miss? Can I help you, essentially? Hey, don't be rude, I just wanted to ask you if your mother's condition was any... My mother's condition? Oh, you don't know about her condition? I assume she had found you when I talked to her last. She was desperate to find you. I've not seen my mother since I joined the Order. Do you know what's happened? Did she... Did you say anything about my father? Eight streams, wow. Your internet, your graphics card, your internet might crash. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? Nice. $20 is a good deal for both games. HK has all the best dialogue. He's seriously my favorite just because of how funny he is. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go see your mother. Bastila. Sure. Okay, cool. We got that over with. What is the whole what? What are you? 
That thing looks like an alien. 100%, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I think that's the Republic. In my opinion, they're the best Star Wars games. With that being said, though, I know some people really like Battlefront. And some people really like the, um... What's the name of the game with, uh... Is it Starkiller? I'm thinking of the wrong one. It's the one where Darth Vader trains his apprentice. That guy. Do you guys know what game I'm talking about? I just can't get over what is this thing. He's got like... He's got an alien busting out of his back. Yes, the Force Unleashed. That's right. Okay, I'm gonna try talking to this thing. Oh my god, the alien on his back is talking to me. Bye from Nick Tunas Nick Tun and Josh. We hear things are not well on Kashyyyk. <laughs> Probably because of me. Um Let's see what he has for sale. Of as usual, I have like no credits. I don't think I've ever played Republic Commando either. If I have, I haven't. I don't remember it. So is there anything good in here? That's okay. That's not worth spending money on now. Oh, hey, I should see if I can sell things. What do I have to sell? Do I have anything I can sell? Sabrak combat suit? That's not bad. I could sell that. I'll just sell my combat suits. Blam. Get them credits. Heavy battle armor. There's no dexterity though. I probably don't need these anymore. Get out of here. Get out of here, vibroblades. I like how it's making me like no credits. No credits at all. I'm poor. <laughs> I have lots of lightsaber crystals. I have like a million blaster pistols. Mandalorian blasters are better, so I'll sell all of these. Mandalorian Ripper. Ooh, that's pretty good. We'll hold on to that. I forgot how good Chundar's bowcaster was. We'll hold on to that too. An assault rifle. Why is this worth more than... Oh, you know what? I'm going to keep one of the assault rifles. I'm going to give it to HK. I would have to... What does the box look like? Maybe I have played this. Star Wars Republic Commando. Dude, I think I have played this. Have I played this? This looks really familiar. I can't remember if I've played this or not. I'll have to give it a shot. I'm getting distracted. I, I like zoned out staring at pictures of Republic Commando. There's one like this Wookiee choking a dude out, and I was just like, whoa. So is it a Star Wars movie or is it a Star Wars show? Like is it is it a is it a show series that the Game of Thrones writers are involved in? So here's my here's my concern with the Game of Thrones writers. Like the, the last season where they finally took over Game of Thrones. I feel like the quality went kind of downhill. Like, in some ways, it was better than it was when George R. R. Like, during the books that George R. R. Martin had actually written. Because George R. R. Martin can get very prosaic. And his I think at some point his editors kind of lacked the cojones to tone him back down. Because he started getting so much more famous. Um... But that last season, like the the pacing, 
and some of the writing, it just, there was, I love Game of Thrones, love Game of Thrones, but some of it in that last season didn't make a lot of sense. Can I ask this thing what it is? Yeah, I wonder which projects are actually going to make it through. Yeah, can I? Yeah, what are you? A humble servant from the rim? Are you one or two? You know only one mind, or at least only one at a time. We are one now, but weren't always. We grow together bonded from the age of choosing when we become whole. Not like you, you're half of what you should be. Like, brood squealer? Not that we want to offend you, that's just our way as a paired dog. How did they become... One, though. Just because you can't hear it doesn't mean it isn't there. You can't say where it's from, you don't have the ears. Two voices create the name and four ears hear the sound. Far off the Parlamian But how do they join? Okay. That thing's face is freaking me out. Like that that one staring at me. Oh my god. Did they just throw some gizkas at me? Did the game just hit me with gizkas? Oh my god. I just got hit with the gizkas. The Gizka got loose. We don't accept liability and we can't take the cargo back. What is the point of the Gizka? Where's my quest? There's such a spoof on Tribbles. Even the quest name is the trouble with Gizka. The trouble with Tribbles. Trouble with Gizka. Oh my god. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do to them. I like them though. They're kind of cute. if they took anything from the Old Republic too is they'd probably have to acknowledge different changes that they've done and I don't know. I don't have a lot of hope in how they've been handling this. Yeah, but was there any Gizka merch? I mean, come on. They're, they're definitely nowhere near as good as Porgs. Obvious sarcasm intended. Mission looks so high tech. Look at her. I like. I completely tricked her out with that visor. <laughs> Although what I should do is I should probably check and see what weapon does she have. Oh yeah, that's right. I hooked her up with Baka's blade. Let's give Bastila a dark Jedi night robe. You know, it's like a premonition of the future. It's a good plan. That's a good plan. I like that plan. Um, let's... Huh? Yeah, see, look. That's a good look on Bastila. Now we all look like a team. Except Mission. She's not matching. Actually, I don't think I've upgraded Missions. Is her armor okay? Yeah, her armor's fine. I was gonna say, I don't remember if I've upgraded Mission's armor since Terrace. And considering the fact that this is the fourth planet now, <laughs> that, would, that would not be a good thing. Alright, who's ready to watch me get lost in the city? <laughs> Tatooine! Where is this? Okay, this doesn't go anywhere. Oh! Oh! Shoot! Okay! Bye, pal! 
I won't bother you. All right, she's got a name. Does she have a quest? Please, will you help me? I have nothing. Dude, I don't have any oh, money. Thank you. I don't have anywhere. Else. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dune. This raid plate? I just. What? What is this? It's the bone plate from the head of the desert raid. My husband was so proud when he found it. He had just started hunting. Aww. He said he felt sure the next hunt would bring him more, so we waited to sell this one. Then he never came back. Oh, that's sad. Will you buy it? I can sell it for you. I guess I don't have much. I'll be here. Please don't. Lady, like. I barely have enough money to sustain my own crew, <laughs> let alone. Have you seen a woman that may resemble me? Look so at Bastila doing the slide. That human woman. I'm enraged at her arrogance. Do all your species place yourselves on pedestals? What are you talking about? Helena must be your word for pit rancor. Oh. Uh, is that your mom's name? She strolled into the canteen and like she owned the place. Is she still there, bro? No one else could talk her attitude so she won't be leaving? We should try to find her. I doubt she wants to be just waiting. You humans, you're out of your minds. For her. We need to find her. That was a dramatic circle around Bastila. Circa office. Ooh, what's in this footlocker? Nice. Uh, I'm stuck. Right? No? Okay. Something you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please, make it quick. Okay. I need to play this game and just be a total jerk so I can... I repair the sand crawlers when they return from the mines. They get pretty banged up, even without the attacks. What attacks? The sand people attack oh, them the pretty regularly. People. Zerka Corporation is getting pretty sick of it, I hear. They've offered bounties on sand so people here's for a, a while. So here's a fun story a few hunters take about them up me on being it. embarrassed in public dangerous. related to sand people. Um, Try the Zerka when I right here. moved into know. where we currently live, I was really excited that the move was over because it took us, like, we moved ourselves, so it was essentially, like, every day packing boxes and then every day driving boxes in small like increments over to the new place and i got really excited All the big when we were unloading the last boxes the people, and they were pretty much at that point almost regular. empty no and i like lifted it over my head and i was like tries. i was acting like a sand person and i turned and one of the people that lives next to us was outside and i hadn't seen him and he was like this little old man, and he was just like. I was like, I just. And I still had the box over my head, and I was like. Oops. It was very. It was very embarrassing. Try it, the Zerko. Okay. Well, it's a hole in the galaxy, as far as I. But that's happened before, and will happen again. Why have we Well, tattooing fools people. It looks like it might have a good supply of resources, but it doesn't. Before Although a company learns this, they've already set like up communities to support operations they now can't afford. Company pulls out, cities dry up. No one is. I guess it looked like a problem. I've been wrong a mechanic with the metal. my whole life. I've never seen anything corrode as fast as Tatooine metal. Well, it's That's probably why all the whoever sand. was here before left. And why Zerka will leave. Huh. All right, then. All right, bye, bye, dude. Let's go see if we can get any any bounties since I need money. You'll be hearing about this, you Zerka puppet. You can't just murder a whole village. Don't tell me to take my concerns to your corporate kiosk. I know what I'm not wanted. Wow, that sounds like every big corporation ever. Uh, what's going on here? Who are you? I'm done talking in this office. They aren't interested in listening to me. I doubt they'll even acknowledge I was here. Typical corporate evasion. That's what happens when they own everything. No accountability. Don't bother bringing it up. I will bother. <laughs> I was seen by them. 
and then I slaughtered them like animals because they were animals can I help you these are the offices of the Zerka Corporation I trust you have business with the that woman looks like she had some lip fillers man that NPC has full. huge lips and before you ask holy we are also smokes uh yeah give me a honey license we are no longer selling them there are too many people cavorting about outside the uh, well, oops. normally we charge 200. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Okay. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license. Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Besides, they're ceremonial weapons, unique to each warrior. It's just as good. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, here is your license and a few directions. We believe one you might try following one of our sand crawlers. Cool. Very well. That was way easier than I thought it would be to get the uh, hunting license. I assume that by out of the ordinary, you're referring to the destruction of Terrace? That is all anyone is talking about. I'm afraid Zerka Corporation is not offering any comment on those events. We wouldn't wish to anger the participants. So is she saying, yeah, okay. Zerka Corporation policy is not subject to your approval. It is a sound business model. Save us your commentary. So one thing I don't like uh, in this character, like really exemplifies that, are people that work for large companies who think that everything the company does is right, never questions anything. And those are usually also the people that think that like, they're like so invested in the company, like they're all about it. They'd like sacrifice their own lives and health for the company, and the company would never, of course, do that for them. If you're looking for local events, I suggest you go to the. They've really nailed there that character. There was also a Jawa type. here earlier, saying something about needing help. I can't be more specific. A Jawa! Oh, I love Jawas. Ooh, teeny. Yeah, we got our hunting license. Now I can sell that thing for that woman. Who are you? Jawa, Yun Patisa, Ichuba Chikuta Naga. Cool. You managed the storehouse, you say. What do you have available? Actually, is there anything out of the ordinary? Terrace? Okay. Um. Yeah, um. Do you know about their operations on Kashyyyk? They're in more trouble than you and I would ever give them. Yes. I get a chuckle out of anything that gives them grief. Huh. How do you think they're doing with Tatooine? Maybe they'll pull out, maybe they won't. I'll man the store on the next rock. That is a jaded individual. Um, yeah, sure. Let's, let's look at his... Let's look at his stuff. Oh, you know what I do need? I need energy show. <gasps> that armor's really good. Does anyone remember if the items in this game are random? Like if I leave and come back and if I don't buy this now, is that gonna screw me over? That's really good armor. Why is the light battle armor more? That's so good though. I don't wanna buy it right now. <laughs> Prime armor safe. I'm just gonna save so if I come back and it's gone, I'm just gonna like reload. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to give credits to somebody coming up soon. Cause there's always like beggars in these cities, so. All right, let's take a look. Don't believe what Zerka said, there's always a peaceful solution to conflict. What are you talking about, man? 
Zerka miners were attacked by sand people, so Zerka wants them killed. The sand people are not animals. I've watched them, they're intelligent. They must be able to peacefully stop them. Um, the Zerka said sand people attacked first. Well, yes, they did. Who deployed no more sand crawlers, began tearing up the desert. To the sand people, must have seemed like an invasion. I mean, that's a good point. I think if some company landed, like, in my backyard and just sort of digging up my yard, I would probably consider it to be an invasion. Well, um, what would you suggest, dude? They don't talk in any language an average translator can understand. There was even a Jedi here a few years ago who couldn't get through to them. Who is the Jedi? Do they say? Who would have a droid? The unusual droid is in the shop. So where is the enclave? Southwest? And where would I get the roads? It was Revan and Malik that came through and couldn't communicate with the sand people? Oh yeah, because of the star map. I am so out of it today. Like, I got to work and people were giving me weird looks. And I went into the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I had my hair up and my hair was just like over here. And I looked crazy. <laughs> That's pretty much been what my day's been like. I have actually not read the Old Republic books. That reminds me, I ordered the, I ordered the uh, Thrawn books. No, which ones did I just order? I ordered the Star Wars actual, like the actual movie books, like over a month ago now, I think, and they still haven't arrived. All right, note to self, I need to find out where those are. So have I completely missed the cantina? No? Is that further down? Um, let's just keep going. Swoop registration. Uh, we're gonna s Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace <laughs> alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna choke him. <laughs> That was confusing. I didn't realize Bastila had used stasis, and I thought that the choke had not only established itself as stasis, but chosen a different target. I was very confused. Yeah, dark Jedi. Okay, all right, all right. Dude, oh, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. How dare he attack me? Excuse me. Excuse me. Yo, stamp him! Lord Malak was most appeased when I slaughtered you. So many great remains. Sith assassin pistol. Mm -hmm. Hey, there was a dead effect. Detailed descriptions of you and Bastila. It also has a brief message. Bastila has escaped Terrace. Whoever can find and dispose of her and her Jedi companion will be greatly rewarded by Lord Malak himself. Well, that's suspicious. All right, cool. Um, I'm gonna leave their dead bodies here. <laughs> we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna meander on.
Yeah, no, I actually, for some reason, I've never read the Old Republic books. Part of the problem is I, I am a very prolific reader. And I usually have, like, a huge stack of books waiting for me to read. And most of the time I just never... Like, between... Between working and then, like, getting home and trying to do video editing and stuff like that. I just don't... I don't have a lot of time in the day to read as much as I would like. I am currently rereading Brian Sanderson's Mistborn series. Which, if you like fantasy okay. it's I'm sorry, so I good mean, i'm here mother it's super cool like me? if you what if you, you like to read and so you like avatar the last airbender do you know how long but you I've want like a more mature storyline as well as i sports fantastic possible once i joined the order okay so bass is talking to mummy where's father and you haven't heard i should have known has something happened to him are you going to tell me or not your father is dead that is part of the reason why I was looking for him. He's dead. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? I like how Basil assumes that her mother Already killed she's flinging her father. At me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? Oh no, lady, don't, don't bring me into it. Is that so? Well, I'll be joining her soon enough, I suppose. I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such sweet things, you say. Those are cool too. Perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spiteful. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his Yeah, death? I have like you never a million your books father on my list too. On his treasure hunts, leaving Soft novel comics are always good as well. And I've I think always to blame for I enjoy what those as a kind of so, different... Yes type of book I brought your father because it's not to only dragon like he took an a written story that you can absorb desert. but it's also and got how can a great sure display that? of artwork father is an experienced do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure they were attacked by a crate dragon and one of the guides fled the battle so Basil's father was killed by a crate dragon so what do you want from me credits don't be insulting I want you to use those senses of yours I want you to find him I want you to bring back his why so you can sell it. Is it too Basla much to ask like, that so... I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Bear in mind, this is the first reunion Bastila has had with her mother since she was taken away as a very, very young child to be trained as a Jedi. And they are this hostile to each other. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, Mother? She doesn't even care that her mom's sick. None, I'm sure. Just that's the kind of response I would expect. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People, Uncle. Oh my god. Basta. Was there anyone else I should be talking to in here? Huh? Who are you then? Only new people that come to Junix Nards Cantina are longtime losers and bounty hunters. I don't have to tell you why the two don't mix well. Please keep any blaster fire to a minimum. <laughs> I love how they're so casual about it. What, did some Zerka promoter tell you to come to this planet? One of my, you if you were one of my a past goals in life was to find, like, a very local, hole-in-the-wall type pub or bar. Make a small like, where rich. you walk in and your feet, like, stick to the floor just because there's been, like, years of, of like, beer and food spilled. And I want to just be able to, like, walk in and sit at the bar and they'd be like, somebody's cleaning, like, a, a cup with a rag. You want the usual. And I want them to be all raspy like that, too. I'll get you your usual. I have high aspirations in life. <laughs> I just always thought that'd be like. You got a license here, don't you? And since you got that license from Zerka, you know they look for bounties of their own. Yeah, yeah. I just always thought that would be fun. Like, just to be known somewhere so much that they know immediately what you'd like. <laughs> Why would you bother we of Jawa under Isis? Do you miss that we are taken? Wait, what are you what? <laughs> so 
So if I can translate that correctly, it sounded like he said that their people have been enslaved by the sand people? Well now, uh, what can Gandrop do for you? Let me guess, this guy wants to play bizarre. Usually it's some kid. What? I'm not sure what I have to do with it. Ah, something So he's a swoop racer. Oh well. Best place to race. You get hung up on any one. No, no, I don't want to touch my bike at oh, all. No, it's I mean, maybe maybe I wasn't in a winter circle lately, but I can still race for some. Oh, I, I, I don't want to get into that mess. Like, just, just to say that, that there was also somebody on track side rooting for me. <laughs> that doesn't matter now. You can't ask for more certain closure than the whole plan being gone. <laughs> boom, boom, gone. Oh, his old love got blown to smithereens. Oh no. I don't I don't really talk to I, I, don't, I don't know the young lady. I don't know, but but, 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 but some people just that's an old track. Okay. Alright then. Uh keep safe. Oh. Poor old guy. 